Well, being blessed with artistic talent of any kind is one thing, but putting it to use and allowing others to benefit from your gifts, that's the real key. Tonight, Maria Panopoulos introduces us to an artist in our backyard whose career and accomplishments are as diverse as the colorful works she creates each day. Windsor, Nova Scotia is home to the province's oldest living princess. Almost 65 years ago, Audrey Goucher became a member of Maritime Royalty. I was chosen Middleton's princess, and that was a wonderful time. So these pictures must take you way back, huh? It, it sure does. It's How long. old were you here? I was 19. And officially the princess of? Middleton. Of Middleton. Yes. So tell me a little bit about, about that day. They had you parade through the, the apple orchards? Yes, that was for the pictures that they took. A Fox uh, studio from uh, Hollywood was there, and they got us to walk through the, under the trees, and they got some little boys to crawl up in the trees and shake the apple petals, <laughs> blossom petals on, on down on us. It was, it was a fun time. What a glamorous time, too. Yeah, it, it, it was something you never, never forget. It's a legacy she'll always be tied to. At 93 years old, Audrey still takes part in apple blossom festivities. Just last year, she acted as honorary parade marshal. But while she takes her royal duties quite seriously, Audrey will tell you, before she was a princess, she was an artist. When I was four years old, I got, with my Christmas presents and a doll, I got a box of crayons and I wouldn't bother with anything else. I just wanted to use those crayons. Audrey later attended art school and became an art teacher, and through the years has created dozens of original pieces. I've done watercolor painting and oil painting, and I've painted with my oil paints, and acrylic paints I use on rocks, on hundreds of t-shirts. Any surface can become her canvas. But she has a real talent for fabric. My goodness, these are beautiful. So, how long does it take to actually create something like this? Is a real work of art. <laughs> uh, two, uh, two or three hours to do a picture, one picture, one picture. Yeah. And there are how many? Two. And, and there are over twenty. Twenty on each. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, were you stressed out the first time you threw them in the washer? No, because I had painted hundreds of placemats, and they washed, <laughs> and they had washed all the time. So I knew it would wash, yeah. and they even looked better if they washed. There was no risk. No. Audrey draws inspiration from her surroundings and loves to draw what she knows best. I've never seen any scenery like Nova Scotia. It is absolutely beautiful. And I love painting the sea and the waves and the ships. I just look forward to getting a chance to sit down and paint always. And when I had my six children and lived in, out in the country, it was Sunday afternoons I would paint. It was a wonderful outlet to, I was never bored. I always, always said, go pick up my paints and enjoy it. It's a practice she continues to enjoy today. In fact, not a day goes by where she doesn't paint in her home studio. It's a wonderful talent, and I'm so thankful and grateful that I got it. And, and, and I, I've made good use of it. And she encourages everyone to pick up a paintbrush. You're never too old to learn. Now that's advice fit for a princess, right here in our backyard. Maria Panopalis, CTV News. Wow. She is very talented. Tell you. And you heard Audrey mention in the story there about those crayons, crayons she got yeah. for Christmas. Well, she also told Maria the first thing she drew in was her mother's cookbook. Oh, is that right? To use those crayons. Incredible. These days, uh, Audrey often donates her art to, to fundraisers. She also has uh, 30 grandchildren who were quite sure cherish uh, all of her colorful work. I can't believe she washes those quilts, too. I know. I'd be on pins and needles. Yeah. <laughs> Easy on the spin cycle.